Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Lord Voldemort from Harry Potter. So let's get started. To draw you know who, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a curve. So this is kind of like his brow area. Start with a curve and I'm going to bring it across giving a slight curve and going out and curving back up. So this is the shape that you're trying to aim to get. Then from there, I'm going to come right here close to this edge and just draw a slight curve down and out. Then let's come inside right here. We're going to draw his uh, draw an oval for his eye. So let's come about right here. And I'm going to start an oval right underneath that curve we did in the beginning. And so then let's come in here and I'm going to give it one highlight. So just a circle right here and then an oval inside. So I'm just giving it one highlight because I don't think we need to make his eyes too sparkly <laughs> and then shade this part in. And then let's come about right here and we'll just add some crease lines and then right underneath this oval just slightly draw a curve right here just to anchor the eye okay so that is pretty much it for this side then um, i'm just going to draw another curve right here for some detail and so what you want to do on the other side is to do the same exact thing and you want it close enough so don't that's why i'm starting with the eye and not the face so let's come right here, not too far apart, maybe about right here, and do the same thing. And we're just going to go across, do a little curve, and up. And just draw another curve right here. And so same exact thing about right here. I'm just going to bring out a slight curve line, and then um, the oval for his eye. Go right here. And same thing. An oval, I mean a circle for highlight, and then the oval. And shade this part in. Okay, so then um, same thing right here. We need to put a little line right here, and then underneath the oval. So now I'll just come in here and fix everything. I'm just going to thicken this top curve. Give it more depth. And I'm going to flare this out a tiny bit more, just a little bit. And at the top right here, you can continue just add a soft curve right here and here. And let's see here. So then now let's draw his nose. So in between, right in, about in this area, I'm going to draw two slight angle lines for his nostrils. And then his mouth. I'm making it go um, downwards. So about right here, I'm just going to draw a curve down. And I'll thicken this curve a tiny bit towards the center a little bit more and then taper it out. And at the bottom of this mouth, let's add a slight soft line. So hopefully that uh, kind of looks like him. <laughs> evil but not too evil, right? Okay, so then now we can finally draw his face. So let's come outside, say about right here where his brow is, and come out and do the same thing on the other side and we're going to start to draw basically a bottom of a U but not too round, a little bit more angular. Now we're going to bring it underneath right here so let's bring this down. If you're more comfortable drawing his uh, face first definitely do that. It's all up to you. Just want to make sure the eyes are not too far apart. Okay, so I have his face in. So then let's um, 
bring this up more. I'm going to start to draw his head. And we're just going to round it off nice and round to the center. So the center is kind of a little bit pointy. And just round off the tip a little bit at the top and then bring it down. pretty much it and now let's draw his ears so kind of like we're about right here I'm gonna go ahead and draw a big curve bring it down two curves inside for some detail and same thing here so we're just gonna drag a point across and the inside And that is pretty much it. So I really hope you love <laughs> that this, how this turned out. And I'm just gonna draw some crease lines right here. Just wobble two lines right here. Maybe three. That this was a simplified way to draw Lord Voldemort. Okay, so then now for his robe, we're gonna come out centering his head, about right here and here. No neck, <laughs> we're just gonna come out with a curve that's coming down and so I'm going to just uh, his armpits area so I'm just going to go ahead and connect this simplify it so it is just a simple robe that we're going to draw coming down so let's come back right here I'm going to part his robe in the center and then for some details we can come right here and draw two curves and then another one going this way okay so then now let's go ahead and just finish off the robe so just kind of see how far down you want to bring it keep going just a little bit more okay so I say about right there and same thing over here Pretty much level and then we'll bring this down give me a slight curve down as well and go ahead and connect it at the bottom with some curves and then in between just go ahead and fill it with curves as well and now his sleeves so let's bring this down I'm going to curve it down a little bit, come out, uh, keep going about this much, sit about right there. And then I'm just going to wobble some curves down about right there and bring it back up. So same thing over here. It doesn't have to be exact height, same height uh, right here. Just want approximate the same length. And so this part should be the same. So about right here. And curve in. So let's work on this side since it's simpler. <laughs> it's just his hands coming out. So I'm gonna come right here where the sleeve is at the top, draw a thumb, and then his fingers just bigger and bring it down and come in here two lines if you like and then the back of the sleeves just taper it off so same thing over here except he's holding a wand so let's come right here indication of a thumb and then uh, his fingers so I'm gonna come right here and draw three curves and curve it down and in and connect it and so then right in here we're going to put the wand so about right here and 
And maybe the end of the one in here. There. And then the uh, sleeve. So they're all done. I really hope you love my version of Lord Voldemort here from Harry Potter and that I made it fun and easy for you to follow along with me. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you!